Jennifer Hills is a Manhattan-based writer of short stories who rents a remote cottage in Kent, Connecticut, close to the Housatonic River in the rural areas of Litchfield County, in order to work on her first book. Two jobless guys named Stanley Woods and Andy Chirinsky, as well as Johnny Stillman, the manager of the gas station, are drawn to the gorgeous and self-reliant young woman. A man with slight mental disability named Matthew Duncan delivers Jennifer's groceries. The other three men are friends with Matthew, and he tells them about the stunning woman he met, telling them he saw her breasts. In their boat, Stanley and Andy begin to cruise past the cottage, and at night, they stalk around the residence. Jennifer is attacked by the two men one day when she is on her boat. Johnny joins them as they pull her to the coast. Jennifer learns that her kidnapping was orchestrated to help Matthew break his virginity. When she tries to fight back, the three males grab her and yank her bikini off. Because of his regard and sympathy for Jennifer, Matthew declines to rape her. As a result, Johnny and Andy rape her. They attack her once more as she makes her way back to her home. After drinking, Matthew ultimately rapes her, but he doesn't ejaculate in front of the others. The other men make fun of her book and torn up the manuscript while Stanley abuses her sexually and viciously. As the men begin to leave after she passes out, Johnny recognizes that she is a witness to their crimes and gives Matthew the order to kill her. Instead of stabbing Jennifer, who is still unconscious, Matthew dabs the knife in her blood and goes back to the other men, telling them he has killed her. Over the next few days, a devastated Jennifer begins to pull her work and herself back together. She goes to church and begs for pardon for her intended actions. When the men find out that Jennifer is alive, they beat Matthew for lying to them. Jennifer knows that Matthew will deliver her groceries when she phones to place the order. He grabs a knife and the groceries. Jennifer tempts him to have sex with her behind a tree at the lodge. And with that, she hangs throwing his body into the water. Jennifer leads Johnny seductively into her car at the gas station. She tells him to take off all of his clothes, stops halfway to her house, and holds a gun at him. Johnny maintains that she was the only one responsible for the rapes as she paraded around in skimpy attire to attract the attention of the men. She invites him back to her cottage for a hot bath and a hand job while acting as though she believes this. Johnny interprets Jennifer's claim that she killed him as a joke when he says that Matthew has been reported missing. Just as he is about to have an orgasm, she takes the knife Matthew took with him and cuts off Johnny's genitalia. As Johnny bleeds to death and screams, she locks the door, exits the toilet, and turns on opera music. She burns his garments in the fireplace and disposes of his body in the basement after he passes away. After finding out that Johnny is missing, Stanley and Andy head to Jennifer's cabin via boat. Andy takes an axe and steps ashore. Stanley is pushed overboard by Jennifer as she swims out to the boat. She manages to flee with the axe as Andy tries to attack her. When Andy swims out to save Stanley, Jennifer kills him by driving the axe into his back. Stanley approaches the boat, reaches for the motor to get inside and begs Jennifer not to murder him. Suck it, bitch, is the order he gave her throughout the sexual assaults, and she repeats it before starting the engine and speeding off, disemboweling him with the propeller.